Hi, my name's Tom. I'm an edit assistant and a graphic designer, and I'm now going to show you how to change eye colour using Adobe Photoshop CS4. Okay, here we can see we have my example of a close-up of someone's eye, and here's one I made earlier. Now you can change the eye colour to pretty much any colour you choose. I've just gone for a slightly crazy green colour here. So I'm just going to deselect that. Right. So in order to select the area of which we wish to change the colour of, I'm going to zoom in, zoom in on the image. A quick way to do that is pressing Apple or Control for PCs and pressing Plus to zoom in on the eye. Okay, now what we need to do is create a mask of the area of which we wish to change. So I'm going to enter quick mask mode by pressing the letter Q. As you can see here in my history, I've now entered the quick mask mode. Now using the brush tool, I'm going to select the area of this person's eye. Shortcut for that is B, or you can locate it here on the tool palette. Now I'm going to adjust the size of the brush and just change the hardness to about 30%. By changing the hardness, you'll effectively make the, the image which you're going to saturate over the top slightly more realistic. If you have it at 0% hardness, you'll have a very definitive block edge. So if you just adjust the hardness slightly to suit, it might take a few goes, a few experimentations, but you'll get there eventually. So once I've got my settings there, it's going to hit enter. So now I'm going to slowly paint the section of the eye in quick mask mode. So as you can see, as I paint around the edge of the eye, now the red is just there as a guide to show where you've painted. Don't worry, that's not the colour it's eventually going to become. So I'm just going to paint around the edge there. It may take a few goes, like I said before, but it's all up for experimentation. So there we go. Now we have the eye pupil pretty much selected there. So I'm going to exit the. So now I'm going to exit quick mask mode by pressing the letter Q on your keyboard. Now as you can see, I've got a selection there of the eye. Now if I zoom out again with Apple or Control for a PC, you'll see that I've just got the selection of the eye there. Now I want the inside of the eye, not the outside. So to select the, to inverse the selection. I'm going to press Apple, Shift, and I. And I've selected that I'm now going to copy the inside of the eye there. So making sure you've got the right layer selected, which is the bottom layer, which is your image layer. I'm now going to press Apple J, which is to copy the inside there and put it on a new layer. So now if I remove the background image with the eye icon here, you'll see I've just got a selection of the eye on the layer above it. Okay, and this is where you can now start to adjust the eye colour. Now there's a couple of ways of doing this. The easiest way I've found is if you go up to your top toolbar here and select layer. No, I've done it again, sorry. <laughs> if we now go, we're now going to change the colour of the eye. This is where the fun really starts. So we're going to go up to Image, which is the top toolbar here, Adjustments. Now there's a couple of little tools in here. I'm going to use Color Balance to begin with. And this is going to bring up this little menu here. So now you can just start adjusting the layers. Sorry, so you can now start adjusting the settings to whichever color you choose to use. going to create a nice purpley eye there just by experimenting move the, moving the, these options up and down the scale. You can select the different tone balances here and that will give you more control over certain parts of the image. Just going to do a nice dark purple there. 
here, okay? Now another way of doing that, so there's our selection there, is to go via image, adjustments, hue and saturation. Again, this is a slightly different way of doing it. Whichever you see fit, you can change sort of the colour tones a little bit differently using this tool. Do all sorts of crazy colour shapes and sizes. Now another useful, useful tool when you've got your colour selection that you have there, I've gone for a slightly demonic red eye, is if you press Apple L, this will bring up your levels. So this essentially you can change the contrast of the layer that you have selected with these little handles here. So if I want to bring down the whites within the image, just drag that one slowly across. As you can see, the colours are changing there. So make it slightly darker. And again, you can experiment to your heart's content and create all sorts of crazy different images. So once you've got how you wanted it, just hit, select, uh, hit OK. Now, last thing, you may notice that you've got a slight overlay from the eye colour below. So if you go across now to the blur tool, which is on your palette here, you can now just go around and just gently blur out the image on the top layer to the bottom layer. You can now blur out the image from the top layer onto the bottom layer and it just gives it a slightly more realistic effect. Again, changing the brush and the hardness in the settings above here. And this is just going to blur the images together. So if we now zoom out using Apple Minus, you can now see we've got another example. It's the one we had previously. And that's how you change eye colour using Adobe Photoshop CS4.